We no longer live in a world of nations and ideologies, Mr. Beale. The world is a college of corporations, inexorably determined by the immutable bylaws of business. The world is a business, Mr. Beale. It has been since man crawled out of the slime. The only elective that is offered under the business category is accounting. Accounting is a full year class taught by Mr. Shirey. If you're interested in going into the business world, consider taking this class. Okay, basically a business is uh, any individual or set of partners or a corporation, which is a separate entity that's uh, involved in the selling of a product or a service uh, with the, uh, the ultimate goal of making a profit. So what we do in accounting is, is we, uh, we have various methods and techniques that help businesses determine how much they're either making or losing. So we, we uh, prepare something called a ba balance sheet and an income statement, and the income statement will show, like here's an example, here's an income statement. This would show how much a business is, is uh, earning based on certain costs and selling prices. So in the study of accounting, we go over lots of, uh, the math is not that hard. There are, There's math involved, but it's not real high level math, at least in the first level accounting courses. We go over a concept called debiting and crediting, which is basically just adding or subtracting amounts of money to certain accounts that you use uh, to track expenses and sales in an accounting system. Well, it's, it's very beneficial if you want to study business in college because uh, you were going to have to take accounting anyways. Even if you don't become a CPA or a tax accountant, I never did, and I studied business, and I had five accounting classes in college, but the knowledge I gathered from those classes helped me do various jobs that I had in business, even though I wasn't specifically an accountant. Uh, so it'll help you in that way. Also, it's offered as college credit. Through LaRoche College, uh, you can get three college credits as long as you get a C and you pay a $200 fee. And the, the class would normally cost you about $2,000, but um, for just a minimal $200 fee, as long as you get a seat, you get three credits, which can typically be transferred to other colleges. As I mentioned, it's, it's a full year course. You know, we go over the very basic, uh, what's called the accounting equation from the beginning. Students start learning uh, what debits and credits are, what accounts are, what account numbers are worksheets, income statements, balance, sheet, balance sheets, I mean, there's a, a lot of stuff, but it's a building block. You know, it starts out uh, you know, relatively easy and simplistic, and then it gets a little bit complicated towards the end of the, of the year. And we do simulations also, so they take their knowledge and apply them to a real actual simulation for a business. to manage money and mostly how a business keeps organized with money and doesn't go into debt. Well, I know for me personally, I would love to go into the business world in college, so it's going to help me knowing that I have like the basic understandings of like assets and liabilities. I would recommend it to upperclassmen mostly because it's conceptually kind of hard to understand. It doesn't make sense sometimes like where stuff has to go and it kind of applies to you more when you get older, when you have like a job. Well, I know for our midterm, we actually pretended we worked for a company and we had to backtrack and figure out like how a company's money went from one place to another and how much money they actually had left over. It is a great class to take where you can learn many useful skills to help you in your future. We hope that this video helped you understand more about accounting and helped make you more interested in it. If you are interested in taking accounting, then you should consider adding it to your schedule on March 15th, which is a reading scheduling day.